Hello everybody, Mike Brailsford of Brailsford Works. Thank you for joining me back on my channel today. Today I've got a machine upgrade that I'm going to do. Not upgrading the machine itself, but upgrading a part of the machine. What I've got is my Laguna 18BX bandsaw. Um, it's a very good bandsaw, but I will tell you my experience personally with ba all the bandsaws that I have is that they are a high maintenance piece of equipment. You have to constantly tinker with them to keep them cutting properly. Um, it Maybe I'm doing something wrong over the whole years, but uh, that's just my experience. And lately my 18BX has had problems with the guide, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we have our ceramic guides and uh, you can see here one of the pieces of ceramic has popped out and looks like the other one yeah it's doing all right but it's you know it popped out and I lost one on the bottom as well so I looked it up and I was gonna buy a fresh set of ceramic and just replace them and uh, the full set of ceramics for this on Amazon is a hundred bucks so I got to thinking about this and the guides being a hundred dollars um, you know I don't use this saw a lot. I use it mainly for just processing wood and you know occasionally here and there, but I don't do a ton on my bandsaw. It sits more than it's used. And uh, I thought that with the amount that I've used it and the fact that the ceramics have already failed, it wouldn't take too many replacements before I would have been able to afford a f upgrade to something better. So that's what I decided to do. So I've got the Carter Bandsaw Guide Kit to replace my guides on my 18BX with roller guides. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to install my roller guides. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the existing blade. I'm going to take the blade tension off, which it's already off. Open up the, I'm going to pull out the saw a little bit, make it easier to work on. And then I'm going to vacuum it out. I always take my screw from my plate and run it back in the hole so it does not get lost. Alright, so the blade is off. Next thing I'm going to do is remove my fence. I will tell you, the resaw fence that comes with the 18BX is outstanding. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the table. Alright, I got my handles off, now it's time to remove the table. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the old ceramic guide. So I'm going to loosen this knob and loosen this, slide the guide off and take out the post. Bottom is equally easy. You're going to remove these two screws. And it is off. Let me vacuum it up again. All right, so I'm going to open up my kit. I've got my upper guide, my lower guide, and the lower guide bracket. This bracket is for another application that but not on this saw I don't believe I watched several videos and I haven't seen it used and also the screws that replace the bracket for the lower guide the two screws 
our 532nd Allen screws and it comes with the Allen wrench. Put this aside and let's get the lower one installed. The bracket goes where those two knobs replaced the lower, the existing ceramic ones. Alright, I'm just going to put them in. I'm not going to just finger tightening them down. I'm not making them tight because we need to later adjust the lower bracket. And so we need to make it so it's still loose enough to do that so it can slide back and forth. We'll take the lower guides. Slide them in, and the lower guides are pretty much installed. Now we gotta install the upper guides. We gotta take, loosen up the upper guide off of the guide post. And if you can see, the guide post hat is offset. So as you turn it, will actually that's how you adjust the guide tracking. So we'll slide in. Uh, let's get this cleaned off. Slide the post in to the bracket and that uh, to there, and then just snug it up just a little bit. And that's that step. Now I'll put the blade on. Alright, so the next step is to install a blade. I got my uh, brand new blade here. It's a half inch by five teeth per inch blade. I always hate doing that. I end up nicking myself or something and uh, let me tell you, after my heart attack I don't need to be nicking myself because I bleed a lot. Get this installed. It's a lot easier without the table in the way, I can tell you that. Alright, so something I recently learned is that when you install the blade, and this may have been one of my problems I've had over the years, and when you're installing a blade, you don't want the blade being exactly in the center of the tire. You want the deepest part of the gullet at the center otherwise you are creating apparently a pivot point for the blade which will cause it to wobble some so a uh, Laguna has some handy dandy windows for you to be able to look and adjust them and I'll put some tension on it rotate it some see if it stays there and it apparently is. All right, so I've got my track tracking adjusted. I've got the blade set where it needs to be. Now we'll get to setting the guides. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up all of these guides. And again, the Allens come to do this. and slide them out of the way. And also the thrust bearing in the back, oops, do it it as well. All right, and do the same thing to the bottom. And I did uh, ding myself with that blade. <laughs> it happens every time. Now we got them all out of the way. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the thrust bearing is exactly in a line in, with the blade, right in the middle of the blade. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen it up. And I'm going to look straight down it. And all you got to do is twist. the post until it's right in the middle. Go side ones 
his own way. Loosen tight, tighten that up on the post, and then snug up the guide on the post itself. Now we're going to pull that post forward, and you just want the side guides to be up to the deepest part of the gullet. You don't want them to go onto the tooth because if you do, it'll flatten the teeth out, and uh, it'll make it so the the blade will wander all over the place. And it's again, that's something I just recently learned. So, get it set right there. Yeah, that's that. Let's double check the tightness on this one. Now to do the bottom one, we want to push this forward again until these side bearings are just at the back of the gullet. A little bit of tension to this. And then tighten that one up on the, the post. Now, in order to center this on the thrust bearing the way we want, again, on the center of the thrust bearing, we're going to loosen up the two screws and push the bracket until that blade is in the center of that thrust bearing. I'll go back a little bit. That looks about right right there. Now let's tighten that up. So having these Allen screws I actually like because I will tell you one of the problems I've always had with all of the bandsaws I've ever had with all these knobs underneath, it is so hard to get them tight by reaching in and, and uh, moving them around. I've got big fingers and it's usually a problem. It gets in the way of everything. All right, that's that part. All right, so what, now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the thrust bearing so that it's as close to the blade as possible without it touching. But you want to have it so that any amount of pressure at all causes it to touch. I mean, that's a little too far away. And I think that's that. Do the same thing on the top. I think that's what we got right there. Let's get it tight. Okay, so now we want to set these side guides. And you want to push them in so that they're, again, almost touching but not quite right about there because you don't want them turning you want them touching all the time because that even if they are bearings the friction will cause the set to come out of the teeth all 
and do the same thing on the other one. I don't think they're a little bit too far out. All right, I think that top one is good. I'm gonna snug them down. All right, let's do the same thing to the bottom. I love it, it has this little nub you can grab onto in order to move it in and out. I think that's good, let's snug it up. All right, just on an aside, I like to do is I take the wrenches that I need for adjusting. And I have a magnet that I got from a microwave that I just throw them onto and they'll stay right there. Um, any magnet will do, get some rare earth magnets from Walmart or whatever and they'll work just fine. I'm gonna go through and just check all the snugness on each of my settings. That's it. Now let's reinstall the table. Got my little insert. Close up the doors. All right, that's it. Let's give it a try. All right, I got some glued up maple and walnut blanks. I'm gonna cut this last piece of maple off here so it's evened up with the walnut. Let's try it out. Okay. Got another one. Let's cut it. Yes. <coughs> All right, that's it for today. If you think you've gotten anything out of this, please click like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. Also, leave me comments because I answer each and every one. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.